Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? The ever impressive. But never duplicate. Hey, everybody, what's going on? I'm Eric C. Hope you guys are doing good out there. Back with the ESP LTD Phoenix 1000. And this is a crucial part of any finishing is sanding down primer. If you watch my last videos, I ended up getting the body work done. Got the primer on the guitar. Primer is cured, set, and everything else. This is a filler primer, which means it will fill up any type of minor scratches that are in the finish underneath it. Any imperfections that might have been left over that I didn't catch by eye, the dents and stuff like that. Also, whatever waves from trans transferring from paint, old paint, to wood, to old paint again of sanding it if I didn't feather it out properly. Now, the reason why I say this is a crucial part because I have to be very careful of where I sand, how I sand, how long I sand in that area for. I don't want any low spots. I don't want any waves. I don't want anything. So if I sand some of this primer off, that's not a big deal. If I make it really thin, that's also not a big deal as well. As long as there's primer on here to cover up the wood areas, that's fine. And I kind of have an idea of where's wood and where's not wood. So that's not a big deal to me. So right now it's really smooth. I don't feel anything as far as waves go. And when I sprayed this, I had it laying down like this when I sprayed it. I also did the back the same way. So everything laid flat and should have filled everything really nice. The edges came out really good as far as how it's a little bit of a round off without any sharp edges on there anymore, especially over here, and I keep it that way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I got 600 grit sandpaper here. Now, 600 is gonna scratch the surface pretty good, and it's gonna leave a little bit of sanding scratches, but not like 400 will. 400 will leave sanding scratches to the point where when you start putting your next finish on it, you could have or see those sanding scratches in the finish once the finish shrinks and gets into all the nooks and crannies that are you painted. So I can go with four, um, 600 right now and then go with 800 after that, or I can just leave it at 600 and go to my next steps as far as painting those. So right now, Got my block, and this is very important too, no hand sanding, block sanding only. So I'm going to go ahead and start, and I'll make sure everything is nice and even, including this edge over here. I don't want to say I'm going like this to keep this edge really nice, and I end up, I'll leave a divot, and when I put the final finishes on, I'll see that divot again. So I don't want to do that. I want to keep everything uniform, sanded properly. I'm leaving the tape on here. There's no roughness on this primer at all. It came out really, really nice. I'm really happy with the way it came out. I'm going to leave the neck masked off until I get done doing the sanding. And then I have to, on the back of the neck where the paint's going to meet the clear coat as far as the back of the neck goes, I have to do a sanding on that that's going to basically um, make it to where there's no tape line. You don't feel anything. Right now there's a tape line on the back of it. There's really not too much I could do about that right now until I start working with the finishing process. All right, the Jackson and the Schechter are now gone. Shipped them out today, so they should be going to where they need to go eh, probably three days from now. Got another project guitar for somebody else to work on, 
which I haven't unboxed it yet. And the Phoenix. She's got some color on it. It's a metallic blue. Can't really tell too much of metallic because of the there's no clear coat on it. All the damaged areas like right here. Right here. Everything looks really good. I got one spot I gotta touch up with some CA glue. And that is, let's see if I can get this one out. Right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I gotta touch that spot up, but otherwise, everything else looks good. So what I'm gonna do with this is there'll be a level sanding done. I will fix that spot that I showed you on the back. And I will give this a couple more coats of the blue and start working on the gold stripe. And get a hold of my buddy at Jeff, uh, Diamond Cut Graphics, Jeff Lee, and have me make the mock one and the white stripe logo. Yeah. Rawr. All right, so I was asked why I don't spray and video it at the same time because when you're spraying, regardless if it is with a spray can or with a gun, you have overspray. And when you have overspray, well, electronics and certain things that you don't want overspray on will get on it and the lens will get clouded over. Isn't that it's like that hard to clean? I just really don't want to rub too much of any chemicals or anything else on the lens of my phone on the camera. Uh, yeah, so that's the reason why I don't spray and video at the same time. Another thing is, is I ended up getting some more or having some more t-shirts made and uh, I ordered a bunch of them for myself so if you go over here where it says my store EF bed zero creator click on this and it'll bring you to my store so what shirts did I have made um, well I had this shirt here made and this is the 5150 49 and a half Epiphone kind of an EVH style guitar again with my logo nothing on the back of it and you can get this in uh, five colors you can get the blue red forest gray and purple if you want it and then also I have it in a fleece uh, well, I guess you want to call it fleece I don't know what they call these hoodies so you got the royal purple you got a gray an orange, a navy, and then the forest green again. And then I also, let's see if we go back, 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 back. Has some stickers made up, have a coffee mug made. Um, just have a straight logo with my, with the guitars on the back of it. And the sticker. So a lot of you guys know what this is. If it ain't broken, don't tear it. And I also have some t-shirts and a fleece or hoodie if you would like. So I got it in the royal blue or deep royal blue, black or navy, black, forest green, and then I have the smoked gray. So yeah, you guys kind of get that. A lot of you guys get the joke of this. So, all right. Well, that's about it. You guys take it easy. Have a good one. Uh, I got to do an unboxing of the next project that I've got going on and uh, see what condition and everything else that guitar is in. Kind of have an idea of what's going to be happening with it. And I actually have a t shirt that kind of resembles what's going to be done with that guitar. Yeah. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a good one.